When we serve, we're serving on behalf of God and God's using us to love people, to grow people, uh, to speak to people. It's an amazing thing, really, to be able to serve on his behalf. But it also means we have a responsibility to do it in a way that honors God and cares for people. We have a responsibility to make sure uh, that everything that happens in ministry here is safe. That's not just my responsibility. It's not just Holly's responsibility, the, the safe ministry officer. It's not just the parish council's responsibility. It's everyone's responsibility. And it takes some work, but it also enables ministry and it enables people to meet Jesus and to grow in him. So how do we make sure our ministry is safe like this? The way is that everyone who's rostered at Warrigal Anglican completes a safe ministry process, uh, no matter the ministry, from working in the kitchen, to sound desk, to musicians, salt club leaders, people who pray, people who read, people who clean, all complete the same process. It has four steps, a working with children check, if you're a teacher, there's a way to link your VIT with your working with children check, but you, need to, you do need to do a bit of work there. Have a police check no more than five years old. Get a safe ministry check through Kiura. That's the diocesan safe uh, professional standards process. And commit to doing safe ministry training online or in a workshop in person. And we wanna help make that as easy as we possibly can. So uh, two things you can do. If you need help doing those things, you can talk to Holly. Uh, she can, in the office, she can make a time to help you get this done, including the online applications. And if you have questions about it, why we need it, what we need to do, you can talk to me. Now, sometimes people say, I don't work with children or vulnerable people. I just you know, do the cleaning or something. Why do I need to do the same process? One reason, is that serving means we have privileged access in the church. All types of service mean that you will be at some point around children or vulnerable people. Your job might be setting up communion, putting flowers in the church. That could mean that you could be at church any time during the week or on the weekend. And if that happens to overlap with when there are, there's a kids event or something like that, Unfortunately, someone with ill intent could use that access to their advantage. So everyone needs to be checked. Secondly, serving means that you become known as a trusted person. The other day, my son mentioned that he'd seen someone uh, at his school, different context, who he knows from working in the kitchen at church. He recognized this person. If we see people doing things around the church, we assume the church considers them to be trustworthy. And then, for example, a good example I heard recently, if that child is walking home from school in, a, in the rain and that person they know stops, in the, stops and offers them um, a lift in their car, will the child think, oh, I know this person, I trust this person? So being seen to be serving anywhere in the church means that people will trust us. I know that doing checks isn't a light thing to ask of people, but the fact is the church has done a bad job of this in the past and we need to protect vulnerable people and to use the language of the Bible to be above reproach in our community. Serving in God's kingdom is a real privilege 